a clip fastening. I just tucked it and it's just flapping. It is what it is. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a newbie, then hello, welcome. My name is Raquel, and if you're a subby, thank you for returning. I really appreciate your support. Today I have a huge, huge Miss Pat haul. I absolutely love Miss Pat. There's definitely something for everybody in this haul. We've got casual, we've got going out, we've got festive, we have a little bit of everything. This is actually gonna be part of my Black Friday Cyber Week edit, so there will be an upload every single day this week. So Monday through Friday, 100%. And there may also be a bonus upload on Saturday and Sunday, which, <laughs> Current me is like okay with, but editing me is going to be screwing. But anyway, here it is. This, I don't know what day this will go live. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you've got the bell. I will be uploading every single day at 7 p.m. If you guys aren't following me on IG, definitely head over to my IG because I'll also be doing Black Friday and Cyber Week bargains on my stories. But without further ado, we're going to get straight into item number one. Everything will be listed in order of appearance in the description box. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit subscribe. But let's get straight into outfit number one. Okay, so first up we have this oversized turtleneck knitted dress. This comes in around four or five other colors. I will have it linked as the first item in the description box because obviously with Black Friday, the discount code is gonna vary. So I'll have it linked. This, I thought, mm, should I go for a dark brown? But I do have something very, very similar. It's V-neck. When I saw this, I really wanted it just because it's nice and cozy. It has a nice um, high roll neck. I'll come up close so you guys can see. It's just like a ribbed, chunky rib knit kind of material. I am actually gonna style this up on, probably gonna style this up. You guys will see that on the cutaway. Um, or if it's not on the cutaway, it will be on my YouTube shorts or on my IG at some point. I like the fact that this is versatile because you can wear it without a belt like this. So it's quite loose. And then if you throw on a little belt, it's quite form-fitting. There's so many ways that you can layer this. It's getting quite cold at the moment. At the moment, all I've done is I've just paired it with my same knee-high brown Paris Texas boots, which I'm nearly always wearing. <laughs> when I have like a nude or a brown, I nearly always pair it with these boots. But this is outfit or item number one. Absolutely love it. If this is not your color, like I said, so many different colors. So click the link and you'll see the other colors. But let me move into item number two. Next up, we have a triple whammy. So we have the Miss Pat wrap detail fold over mini skirt. Now this does come with a matching blazer, a cropped blazer, but they sent me the entirely wrong thing. I'll try on for you guys anyway. So yeah, it does come with a nice matching blazer, but not today. Paired it with the diamond chain detail sheer tights, which I absolutely love. And then this bandage strappy scoop neck boned corset top, which I really love as well. This actually is a really lovely outfit. You just need to throw on a nice blazer over the top. I have the most perfect blazer that would go with this. But look at the fold over detail of the skirt. I do wish that I've got the matching blazer just to show you guys how it looks as an ensemble. Really, really nice. I've stuck to a size eight. If I've been forgetting to mention sizes, first piece I got in a size small slash medium, and then these are all in a UK eight. I think the tights only come in one size. However, if there's like a medium or a large, I usually go for the medium or the large in the tights. But this is a really cute little ensemble. I'll show you guys the top, because the top has a nice corset feature. It kind of dips at the front. To get in and out is super easy. There's just a zip in the middle at the back. This uh, corset top, so versatile. It would look so nice with like cargo pants, baggy pants. If you wanted to wear a skirt like this, you can. It's very, very versatile. You can do so many different things with it. I think they do this in another color, but I'm not too sure. So once you click the link, double check, because I, I don't know if they did it in a, maybe they did. I could be making it up. <laughs> maybe don't listen to me. Onto the tights, I can't, they're out of frame a little bit, so you guys would have seen them in the lengthways cut away. But these are a really great dupe for the Gucci tights. I do have the Gucci tights, they did serve me well. I sized up, which I think was a little bit of a boo-boo. I should have stuck to a small, but um, these are a really great alternative. And if you guys are like me in your office space, it's nice to have an array of different tights. I get really sick of the plain black 40 denier. They just get really bloody boring. Now, I'm gonna show you guys another way to style the skirt and the tights. If this is a little bit too on show, <laughs> I've got another little option. So let me quickly throw it on. Okay, so I've just switched out the top. It's a little bit more of a covered up top. However, it does have this cut out detail at the back. Now this is the Miss Jocelyn Premium Ribnet Bodysuit. I haven't clipped it up, but it is a clip fastening. I just tucked it and it's just flapping. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but really lovely, like good thick ribbed material, right? You cannot go wrong. I feel like in autumn and winter, I'm always wearing tops like this. Not necessarily ones with the cut out back, um, but I'm usually always wearing, even if I'm layering, right? I'll layer with something like this because it's just so nice and cozy and warm. And this particular ribnet that they have, this material is just 
I really, really love it. So yeah, this is a really great option if you don't want to wear like a corset, if you want to do a little bit more of a casual vibe. Now I'm going to move, I'm going to show you the crop. Well, as I said, essentially, I was supposed to have the cropped blazer, which matches this, but they sent this instead. And I think it's because the plastic it had the wrong like description on the plastic. So I don't think I'm gonna bother trying this on because it's not my size, it's the size 12 um, and it needs ironing. But this is the gold chain belt structured blazer dress. This is what it looks like. I mean, yeah, it's not really my kind of color, um, <laughs> but this is what the chain belt looks like on. I just realized it's gonna try it on, but I think it's gonna look really silly because it's not the right size. But um, yeah, if anyone's interested, this is also Miss Path, it's also on the website. It's just a little, it's like not, it's not for, it's more spring, right? So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna move into the next piece. I think I've got a couple of dresses. One of them I've actually already worn out already because I couldn't wait. So let me move into the next piece. Okay, so next up we have the Miss Pat Premium Velvet Satin Lapel Blazer Dress. If you guys watched uh, one of my most recent vlogs, I'll link it above, you guys saw that I got this, but in a play suit form, and I was so obsessed with it because it was just like the nicest thing ever. I have a, like a little mass, a little mass, a little Miss Pat haul in that vlog too. So when I saw that it came on the website in a dress format, I was like, yes, I have to grab it. I did wear this already. I will say I prefer the play suit version just because I'm always wearing dresses also I did kind of manage to tear this a little bit and it is definitely very low and very open so actually when I wore it I did wear it with like a Savage X Fenty bra underneath I wore it to a Lipsy event I'll pop I'll see if I've got any photos or videos and I'll see if I can pop them on the screen um but yeah really really lovely piece especially for the festive season because it's black it's velvet because it's velvet I feel like it adds that extra little zhuzh turn around and show you guys the back it's just plain on the back it does have a thin zip on the side for you to get in and out and then obviously as the title said it's like a lapel which I really really like I think that adds a really lovely touch to it now I have kept on the same tights because they're so durable and I think they go with so many like not durable versatile rather and they go with so many different outfits I am actually going to wear it with the next dress as well so let me throw on the next piece so last two items we have this Miss Pap cut out waist detail blazer dress I'm wearing it in a size 8 or a UK small and then I'm also going to pair it with a coat in a set but I'm going to talk about the dress very very quickly so as it said it's a cut out detail there are three hook and eyes here and there are hook and eyes from the top to the bottom here so they do get it gets a little sketchy in the middle because kind of unhooked sometimes so you have to kind of bear that in mind I thought there was a cut out on the back but there isn't I actually really really like this and again for the festive season it's a nice little option to have in your wardrobe I think something that's black mini classic LBD quite chic don't have to do much in terms of like styling I think it slots lovely into the festive season so this is a great little option a great little piece I mean to be fair if it wasn't so open you could probably get away with wearing mm -hmm, I was gonna say get away with wearing it to work I push it so I'm not a good barometer when it comes to what to wear to work and <laughs> like uh, corporate work wear but this is a very cute piece the only thing that could make it even cuter is my coat Oh, this coat, actually, do you know what? The coat is not Miss Pat, the coat is Boohoo, and I will have a Boohoo haul come in. I have a ton of Boohoo coats and a lot of Boohoo bits and bobs, but this is Boohoo. This is a fur trim vinyl jacket in maroon, and I have it in a UK 8. Now, I did briefly try it on, but what I will say, look at the arm. It's like... <laughs> So I think if you're interested in this, you have to size up because at, at first I thought it's because I was wearing like quite a thick jumper, but this dress is not super thick and I feel like the arms are a little bit tight, but this is a really, honestly, I mean, it's not for everybody. It's a little bit of a Saks Pots dupe. If you guys know, those coats are a lot of money. Um, this is like a really light leather patent version, but you can get some on the website which are muted. They're not patent, right? So if that's a little bit too loud for you, you guys know me, I love a loud moment. And the actual faux fur itself is really, really lovely. I'm pretty sure they have this on the website in white as well with the patent. So if that's something that you're into, definitely check out the website. I will link it in the description box as well. Um, but this is my final piece. What do you guys think of this coat? Would you rock it? Would you not? Let me belt it for you actually. This thing for me, I need to change the size because the arms would irritate me and I think it would look better for me if I had sized up. Okay, where it's patent, you guys already know it's difficult. The belt's stuck. 
or stitched or what? The belt is a little sticky to use because it's patent. So I don't know if I would necessarily use the belt. Okay, let me see what it looks like buttoned up. Okay, it's kind of tricky, I'm not gonna lie. This is what I would do. <laughs> I would just take the belt and just do a little tie like that. Cause it's patent, it's quite difficult. There's no, no slip, it gets like rigid and stuck. So I'd probably just do it like that. But comment, let me know, what do you guys think of this coat? Is it a keep or is it a return? The arms are just too small for me and I need to be able to function, like carry my bag, put my bag on my shoulder, I'm like... Anyway, this is my final piece. Oh, so semi lied. this is actually my final piece. I picked up a Bondi Sands body wash because it's a tropical rum scent and I was like, ooh, let me give it a try. So I picked this up. They have a ton of Bondi Sands on the Boohoo website. So I grabbed this as well. So yeah, this is actually <laughs> my final piece. <laughs> so that completes this Miss Pat Paul. Comment below and let me know what your favorite item was. As I mentioned, everything will be shoppable by the links in my description box. This is Black Friday and Cyber Week, so there'll be an upload every single day. So make sure you're around. Don't forget to comment, DM me, IG me. Let me know what you guys are picking up this Black Friday. Are you guys taking a little bit milder this year? Comment and let me know. I'll really be interested to hear. If you guys want to follow me on IG, it's Raquel.Sawall. I'll pop it on the screen. I'm on TikTok, it's Raquel Sewell. I'm on all the things. So yeah, I'll have it all linked in the description box. But for now, that's it from me. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.